he was the penultimate change because when I first initially engaged with this kid, I was going to help him. So I was going to help him was by giving him a product where we could go off and make money, but not make money out of him. So that's how I justified what I've done. And then I give it to him and I was like, ooh, he's my son's friend, that's not good. Yo, my name is Gotten, aka G Man, Akabola. I met Marvin a few years ago, what, 2015. Uh, he's my, my friend's dad. From like school, I was just in a gang. And then from there, it got a bit serious. I went to prison, came out. Um, I was, I, when I came out of prison, I was doing a bit of work, but as you know, um, I went back into the hypnotic rhythm of things and I found the streaks again. Until, yeah, until I met Marv. So I went to him, I said, look, gee, I can't do this. Right? You're my son's friend, right? Now, I feel terrible and I feel that what I've done is bad. So I've got to find something for you to do where you can't get arrested. Yeah? And if you can't do anything without getting arrested, then I can't work with you. So let's go to the gym, let's put our brains together, let's see what can come up in the next couple of months. And when I met Marv, it was like, I was kind of ready to let go of that life. I was kind of ready to let go. Like, I've already had two children, two daughters. Uh, they were growing up, you know, and they look looking up at me as their, their role model and stuff. Um, I've got family that obviously also rely on me and people that look up to me, so I had to do the right thing in order to, to lead the right way. He, let, he, he said to me, like, come to the gym with me, because he saw I was in a, in, a, in a bit of a bad place, like I was doing some other stuff. And um, I felt like he saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. Although I kind of knew I had some sort of like, something, there's a purpose for myself, but I, I wasn't sure what it was yet. We'd go to the gym every morning, eating healthier, putting better things in my body, making me like, kind of just understand there's other things, there's other things and other ways to life than just the way I was living. I was eating healthier and it made me think differently about loads of things, which helped my, uh, my transition my real transition period where it's like, I haven't looked back. Uh, I co-own Buzzwell Entertainment, which owns uh, Ambush. He's one of the, he, he's the most popping artist in the UK right now. He's the next, he's the next biggest thing. And of course, again, we use that same attributes that I had on the other stuff in the legitimate business. He won't take credit for it. He won't take credit, I mean, it's like, He'll just say, he put all the tools there and I just took them and I had them and I used them and I did what I had to do to, to kind of like get myself here. It's like I said, he kind of made me open my mind. I don't know what it was, like I said, it's just, he gave me his time and he let me be with him beside him in the gym when he's doing his, when he's doing his little running around business and stuff. I was just there learning and it made me want to learn more and want to know other things that I wasn't interested in before. He speaks me into existence, like he knows, he's going somewhere, he knows like, yo, when I put my mind to something, it's gonna happen. <laughs> that guy, he's a, he's a marvel. Like a supernatural marvel, he's something else, man, trust me.